Hi, Dion Legrancy here from MeCAD and welcome to this MeCAD Minute. Today I will be showing you how to combine a minor and major revision component into the same revision scheme. This is quite a common request I get from customers but unfortunately the PDM training shows very little information regarding this combination of revision components. So let's jump straight in. Over here I've created this little workflow that contains a work in progress initial state and two transitions that run into the approved state. It's called the minor change and the major change transitions. Then I've created another return to work in progress transition. This is just an automated transition that will speed up my demonstration. The first thing we need to do is to create our revision number components. I already went ahead and I created the minor and major components. For the minor component, my zero character needs to be indicated by a dash. So therefore I had to use a list. My first character, the zero character, represents the case where no minor revision component has been assigned. So in this case, my initial counter value will be 1. This corresponds to our dash. From there on, I created characters A through Z. For my major component, I simply use the format string consisting of two digits. In this case, my zero character will be the number zero. So I made my initial counter value zero. In this case, my major component will increment in the order 00, 01, 02, 03, etc. Now that we have created our revision number components, we can now combine it into a revision scheme. I will create a new revision number, which I will call Major Minor Scheme. And we will start building this revision number scheme by first using our major component, followed by our minor component. Click OK. We can now apply our revision number scheme to our workflow. Go to the destination state, then to the revision numbers tab, and for the revision number, we will select the major minor scheme. For the revision variable, I've already created a variable called revision. We can now click OK. And now we can set up how our revision scheme is going to increment. First, go to the minor change transition. Go to the revision numbers tab. And for my minor component, I would like to increment it by one position. In this case, the major component is not going to increment. Click OK. Then go to the major change transition. Revision numbers tab again. This time round, I do not want to increment my minor component, but I would like to increment my major component by one position. What I would also like to do is, whenever the major component is incremented, I would like to reset the minor component to its first value, which is the dash value. So since this is the first value in our list, I will reset it to position 1. Click OK. The last thing we need to do now is to ensure that our revision variable gets written to the data card and is incremented accordingly. Enter the minor change transition properties. Go to the actions tab and select add action. For the description we can type in write revision variable to the data card. For the type we will select set variable. Ensure that run for files is selected and for our variable we will select revision. For the value we select next revision and click OK. Add another action. This time round we will type in increment revision for the description and the type is going to be increment revision. Once again ensure that run for files is selected. Click OK. We now need to repeat the exact same steps for the major change transition. Go to the actions tab, add an action and for the description we will enter write revision variable to the data card. For the type we will select set variable 
run for files the variable will be revision and the value will be next revision click ok add another action increment revision for the description the type is going to be increment revision run for files click ok and ok now our setup is done let's put this to the test remember to save your changes in the workflow okay so inside our solidworks pdm local view i've now created a new solidworks part called draw a handle i've checked this file in for the first time and you will see that it's currently in the work in progress state as we do our approvals it will keep on returning to the work in progress state this is simply due to the automated transition that i've inserted in order to speed up the demo let us switch to the data card tab we can see that the revision field is currently empty let's do a minor change the minor change only updates the minor component while our major component is left at zero zero let's do another minor change and another Now it's time for a major change. Notice how the minor component has now reset to a dash. We can do yet another major change. And another. And now finally we can do a minor change. By using only a few simple revision number components, SOLIDWORKS PDM allows you to create your own powerful and complex revision number schemes. Thank you for watching.